I'm going to do a quick video review of the AMD T YNT B3 um, or the Robuddy, otherwise known as um, Ping Pong Robot. Um, I've had it now for, let's see, I don't know, maybe about a week. Um, on the plus side, you know, it's a very affordable robot. It cost me about $230 on Mega Spin. Um, came with like a ball picker upper and some other accessories, a couple balls. Um, it, it throw, once you get the settings right, um, it's actually very accurate and throws the balls where you want them. Actually puts good topspin on the ball. Not great at backspin as far as I can tell. Um, it also has an oscillating feature where it'll shoot to the um, corners really well. Um, let's see, so the, those are the good things, you know. If you, once you get the settings right, it does what it promises and it's a very affordable robot. The issues you'll have with it, I think, are um, this little control panel down here that it lets you actually, let's see if I can focus on that a little bit, there you go. It lets you actually adjust the robot. Um, it's difficult because you can't choose, um, like digitally, you can't actually see what settings are at. So it has like six different settings for topspin and backspin and nine settings for frequency. Well, because you can't, um, because you can't see what they're at, you know, when it starts shooting balls off the back of the table because the top spin's too high or whatever, you can't figure out, well, what do I need to set it to to actually get it right? That's very difficult. Um, that also, the little remote it comes with, let me show you that little thing I have over here. It's kind of it's kind of difficult because while you're playing and you're trying to adjust the thing, this remote, um, I don't know, it's just hard to use while you're doing it. It also doesn't work every time you click it. There is another model above the B3 called the B5, which I'd wish I'd bought, but I didn't even see it on Megaspin's site. Um, I wish I'd gotten that because it'll actually, I think it has a display on the front that shows you what like the speed settings are at, which would be so useful. So for now, in order for me to get the right settings on this, I'm gonna have to like, you know, click it four, four times from the bottom, you know, click minus all the way, and then click it four times up to know I'm at four top spin, and then reset the frequency and click it six times to get the right frequency. Just kind of difficult. Um, I find that it ends up shooting a lot of balls long off the table. It's a full size table. And if I'm playing like a forehand loop and getting a top spin on it, it'll shoot so many balls off the corner of the table and into that corner of the room. Um, that's pretty frustrating when, you know, 20 of 20 balls that you're waiting for come and you have to swing anyway, because you, in a real game, you couldn't just let balls go by. You have to pretty much swing at everything. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of a basic review. It's got, it's, it's kind of consistent. It's just hard to get the right settings. Um, would I buy it again? Probably not. I'd probably opt for the B5 or higher. I'd like to know what the, what the actual settings are at. Alright, okay, bye.